All right, students, this is lesson six on multiplication as a comparison, um, pages 117 and 118. You should pause this video and go complete pages 117 and 118 in your math book first. Like, you should go try them on your own. After you're done solving all the problems, come back and watch this video. So go ahead and pause it and go try those on your own. All right, if you are watching the video from this point, I hope that you have already solved the problems on pages 117 and 118. It's also a good idea to go ahead and have your, um, your index card or your chart that has your questions about it because these are a lot of word problems. So, on number one, it says Mia plants eight seeds. Her sister plants six times as many seeds as Mia. How could you find the number of seeds Mia's sister plants? So what is this problem about? Well, it's about two sisters planting some seeds. What information is important? Eight seeds is important. And then six times as many is also important and then we're going to do what am I trying to find out well I'm trying to find out um, how could we find the number of seeds me as sister plants and can I draw a model to solve this problem and the answer is yes I can so my mo my model is going to start out with one and that is going to be the number of seeds Mia plants. She planted eight, but then it says her sister planted six times as many. So we're gonna draw a model for her sister, four, five, six, and so that's six times. We're gonna put this eight in there each time. We can skip count by eights or add these eights together, or if you know your multiplication facts, you know that eight six times is your multiplication fact so six times eight is 48 and so this would be um, how you would solve that problem and you could also write it as eight times six equals 48. number two how is four times as many as seven related to seven times as many as four? Well, they have equal values. This is where that commutative property of multiplication comes in. So four times seven equals 28, but also seven times four equals 28 you can reverse those two numbers and you're still going to get the same answer number three Sergio found four pennies on the ground his sister said she found two times as many pennies Sergio figured out that his sister found six pennies what did Sergio do wrong oh, okay so he found four pennies and his sister found two times as many. So it should have been four times two equals eight, right? But instead of eight, he got six. Can you see here what he did where he would have maybe gotten six instead of eight? Well, if you look right here, four plus two equals six and so Sergio added when he should have multiplied. And that is the mistake that Sergio made. All right, page 118. All right. Paige, that's my other daughter's name, Paige and Ben each babysit one week. Paige babysits for three times as many hours as Ben. 
Ben babysits for seven hours. So using this right here, what is this problem about? It's about Paige and Ben babysitting. What information is important? Um, three times as many is important. And then Ben babysits for seven hours is also important. What am I trying to find out? Well, on part A, it wants us to draw a bar model to represent the situation. And our last one is, can I draw a model? Which it's telling us to draw the bar model. So remember, the number that has times as many is always going to be the one that is the longer bar because it's telling us how many times we're gonna do something. This says three times as many, so that means we're gonna have a bar of three. And then the other one, the single, the one that represents what each of them represent, is the one that's by itself. So that is seven. So then we add seven into each of these because that's what in the single. We make our fancy little thing here. So seven, 14, 21, if I'm skip counting, it's almost like having pluses in between each one. Or you can do seven times three, which equals 21. So that is our bar model. Then on part B, it says, look at your model. Now write a different word problem that could also be represented by the model. Then write an equation that that model represents. Um, this is going to be, all of you are going to have something different here. So I recommend having your parents take a look at this one, but your equation should all be the same. It should either be three times seven equals 21 or seven times three equals 21. And then our last one, number five, show two ways that you can think about five times eight as equals 40 as a comparison. So one way is you can do um, 40 is eight times as many as five, or you can do 40 is five times as many as eight. And those are your two comparisons. This is it for lesson six. This week you're also completing lesson seven, so you do have some more videos to watch, but I hope you got all of your answers right. Um, if you didn't get them all right, then you need to let Mrs. Lamberg know so you guys can work on those.